being in the community, being a real part of the community. And remember, the purpose of the community is to strengthen the practice of the individual. Being in this community is about doing what you do in your martial arts school. It's the very same thing you promote among your students for them to get the most out of what you do. And likewise, I have to in turn remind you of how to use the community to get the most out of what you do. The first part of the community is to be consistent in your attendance. If you don't show up, even if we review things in classes you've done before, you're not moving, you're not engaging, you're not helping, you're not growing, you're not practicing. Showing up for classes is the first key to getting anything from your martial arts lessons. And likewise, as a member of the community, if you don't show up here and expose yourself to the ideas and participate in the conversations and share your work, don't expect much to happen. I mean, even if the price is $5 a day, it's not worth it if you don't show up. So the first step to changing your uh, career, whatever it is that you think you want to change, is actually showing up. I think it's Woody Allen who said, you know, 90% of success is showing up or something like that. Then it's a matter of sharing what it is you're doing. Now, I know you clean the dojo. I know you do the classes and I know you have to pay the bills and all the little stuff. And of course, I think you need to be self-disciplined about that work and make sure that it's scheduled and it's done in a timely fashion. But it is certainly not the reason you and I do what we do. I want to see you stretching yourself. I want to see you trying new things or I want to see you doing the things that you know uh, already like, uh, like a master. I want you to influence the people who are in our community. I want you to inspire them and I want you to be unafraid of playing. Like when I go to jujitsu or any martial art, I know there's a good chance that I'm going to be both the hammer and the nail. That young kid is going to catch my back and choke me. And I'm going to catch other people, you know. And you can't be afraid of failure. You can't be afraid of looking bad. You know, you can't be afraid of making mistakes. I want you to come to the community. And part of the training that you're going through with me is learning how to write about your work, which is learning how to think and, and speak about it as well, learning how to portray it in imagery and in video. And so writing here should be second nature. And it doesn't matter if you don't write well initially. You didn't throw good kicks or do good grappling when you started either. It evolves with practice. And I want to be an influence on you. Uh, three or four or five years from now, I want you to be the most mission-driven, articulate, and proactive, capable instructor in your community. I want you to redefine what it is to be a martial arts teacher because the current description and the current examples, I mean, there's some fine ones, but there's a lot of ugh, you know, like people so deep in the comfort zone and doing only what they're good at and only what they're comfortable with that we're missing a thousand opportunities. We could recraft our profession to be something more valuable. When people walk in, they should be moved. They should be ready. I don't go to a college when I, and, and enroll and scrutinize its value. I know that those classes are gonna be good and that I have to apply myself and something's expected and I'm expectant. Same thing with martial arts schools. People should come to you because your work isn't good or you don't have a good sign or a, a good location. It's because your work is freaking brilliant. Like you're making a difference. Like you're impacting the lives of people in a profound way. You can do that, but you're not going to do it by doing uh, just enough to get by. So you come to the community to strengthen your own practice and to contribute to others and to play this, this life game that you and I have chosen to be a part of like a master, like Pele, like, you know, Michael Jordan, like, you know, you're capable of it. If you aren't Bruce Lee physically, you can use your creativity and your ingenuity and your intelligence 
to impact people in the most positive way. And we need it. We need people to exercise. We need them to pay attention to what they eat. We need them to be uh, mindful about how they live their life and how it affects other people. We need to deal with hypermasculinity and violence and attitudes of aggression and, uh, you know, what's in it for me kind of thing. We could be a part of a more harmonious culture, you know, if we just practice what we preach and inspire other people to practice with us. Be a part of the community, not because every day you get something that makes you money any more than you go to your martial arts class because every day you make some quantum leap in growth. It's because it accumulates, because the people you hang out with are important. And what you're working on, the intent with which you go about your work is really important. And if you hang out with the wrong people and they're all about things that are, you know, trivial pursuits, you'll end up being a trivial pursuit person. The last thing the community is about, and my work in particularly, is trivial pursuits. I esteem the martial arts master teacher as someone who isn't afraid to take action on things that need action, the things that need change makers to go out there and make things happen. I want you to be that kind of person, and I want you to propagate through your students, thousands and thousands of people who are just like that. And if we do that, we stand a chance of really making a difference in the world, you know? Be the change you want to see, inspire the change you want to see. And the martial arts is a perfect vehicle for that.